In this session, we're going to take a look at working with monochrome bitmaps and the color factory in CorelDRAW. Monochrome bitmaps are very unique, and you'll see that in the anatomy of monochrome's video when you watch that. But we'll go over that briefly here. And that is the first button in your color factory. Now, once you've installed the color factory, you can go to your advanced tools docker. That'll open, you'll see the color factory here. Click on that and that'll bring up your color factory. Now here's the first button, create monochrome. Now before we do that, I want to take a look at this. This is a full color RGB image, but you'll notice that there's no color properties associated with it. We'll go down to my taskbar, bring my color factory back up and click on create monochrome. And that'll process that. Now I'll have a monochrome bitmap. I'll have a white background and a black foreground. The background is your fill color. The foreground is your outline color. It's reversed from vector in that the background is a left click and I'll make that transparent and we can see that that's transparent now. And I could put that on my t-shirt comp. With a right click in the color palettes, I could change that foreground color to, let's say, a blue, working with the color palettes. And we'll zoom in here. We can also work with the color docker. Now, I'll go ahead and put this back here, and I'll go to Window, Dockers, and Color, and turn that off. What you'll want to be able to do is go to Window, Dockers, go down, turn on your color docker. That's going to be your live tab. Left click, hold down, and you can bring that out into your workspace. Release, and now that's been brought out. You can resize that. Now it's set to the outline color. I like to work from the show color viewer. Now from here, I can left click with outline selected and move around and change that color. Now we're always going to be working off the shirt color and the color of the monochrome. The shirt color creates the contrast or the lightness against the darkness of the monochrome. This is not an inverted monochrome, this is a normal monochrome. Now I can also go through the hue and see different hue colors and you can see that's a very faint look there and we see a lot of the faint looking t-shirt prints and you can get that effect with the monochrome. You can go much darker with much more contrast and go into any color you want with that. Now if you wanted the fill, you could change the fill, which is now set to the transparent, and change the fill color. And do the same thing here with the fill color. But to make that transparent, you can go to the color palette, left click on the X, and that'll make that transparent in the background. Now if I've got a logo or a graphic or something, I can add that to the design very easily. And change the color of that, just like working with vector. And you can see the effect that we get there. And that's a pretty interesting looking design already. We can rotate these just like a bitmap. Bring this over here a little bit. Send it up and very quickly and easily working with the hold down shift here. Just like both of these. Have a really cool skater design. Set up in a matter of minutes with the monochrome. Now interestingly we can work with the monochrome and the vector. And create some very interesting looks. With the designs by combining the two. And we'll take a look at that here. I'm going to move my color docker over here a little bit. I'm not going to need this image anymore, so I'll delete that. I'm just going to go ahead and lasso and select my t-shirt and the graphic. Left click, right click one time to duplicate. I'm going to get my vector logo here. I'm going to fill that with black for now. Go ahead and make the skater straight. Click again, and I'll rotate that, holding down control to constrain that. Bring that up under the logo a little bit. I'll lasso, select both of them, hit the C key to center them. I'm going to move my monochrome bitmap off the t-shirt. I'm going to bring my skater logo over here on the t-shirt in the front and set that up. About the size I'd want it for the print. Then I'm going to go ahead and these I'll actually combine into one object. Now I'll take my skater here and position him, say, right about there. 
Now I'm going to trick this with a power clip. So I'm going to copy that so that I've got a copy of it. And my skater, I want to make sure that he's in front of the shirt and not in front of the vector. So I'm going to right click and go to order in front of him and then click on the sleeve of the shirt and make sure he's to the back. Then I'm going to left click, right click, duplicate him. Then I'm going to right click, hold down, drag him over the vector, release and select power clip inside. Then I'm going to come over here to edit power clip. I'm going to delete that monochrome and then I have that copied from the one that should. I'm going to paste that in so it's in the same position as the one that's outside of the power clip. Now I'll just come here and click on finish editing power clip. Now from here if I want to I can change the color of the shirt. Let's say I want to go with more of a I guess we could go down here into the pinks or the tans into the purples. Let's say we want to go with a light kind of off tan shirt like that. And then I'll right click here on the darker brown for the shading. And I'll go to my original monochrome and you can see how fast we can move through these different looks and things when we're working with these. I'm going to go to outline. I'm going to go to the the view colors mode so I can work around here because I can get to the tints the shades, the tones, the blacks, the whites, the grays, etc. are all working very easily here for the outline color. Now on this shirt, I could go through the different hues and see how they look as contrast against the shirt. And I might go down into like the blues here and then bring that over into more of a gray or down into a shade, something like that. Then I can click on my vector and let's say we want to fill that with a color like, oh, we'll go with a yellow for the effect, and you can see that, or a green. We get a nice effect there. Now, if I go in here and zoom in, we can see that effect. And you can do a lot of things with this. Now, if I want to change the color of the monochrome inside the power clip, I'm going to select power clip contents, and I can see I have a transparent background and I have a blue outline. I'm set to outline. Now I might want to change the color of that outline, come down into the yellows, bring that up, and you'll start to see that effect. If I want to go into a lighter color, like let's say ice blue, I can click off, select my vector, change that to an ice blue, see that effect there that we get, and then I could go into and select the power clip contents, go to the view colors mode, bring this up into a darker blue and you can see the effect. So you can do a lot of things working with the monochrome and the vector to get really different looks and then if you're working on a project for a client you could very easily go through and start to, and I want to select that and left click, right click one time, duplicate that, I'll hold down control to constrain it. Go to a different color for the shirt something like a lighter powder blue here. Go ahead and go to the monochrome, go to the show color viewers and bring this into different looks for that. And for the background of this since powder blue, I'll go with a darker blue for the shading on the shirt. And you could go again to the viewer and go to a darker green or go up into say like the magentas or a burgundy look there and come here and make this like a yellow and then select the contents and make that with a right click like a green and see the type of effect you're getting and the monochromes all flowing together so working with monochrome we can very easily set up these types of designs working with vector combining vector into monochrome and creating really kind of different looks than you're going to get with the vector working with just a few colors. These are all just like two colors and we're working off very important here, the color of the shirt, which is a lighter color as the background color and the monochrome as the foreground color and the same with the vector. And if I want to make more adjustments to that, click again on the vector, select that. That's over in the greens and we could bring that down into more of a shade of the green.
for more impact of the monochrome power clip inside of the vector with a yellow fill on the vector. So we'll wrap here concerning the monochromes and we'll continue in our next session.